from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Wendy Ryan. Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, your top stories at this hour. Local school districts are making plans for this fall regarding face masks requirements. Benellas and Pasco County is telling us they do not plan to require masks in the fall. Polk County says they'll discuss it over the summer. This comes after State Education Commissioner Richard Corcoran said he wants districts to make masks voluntary next school year. Cocktails to go will soon be a permanent staple in Florida. The state Senate passed a bill giving the green light to restaurants and bars to sell beer, wine and liquor in sealed 32 ounce or smaller to go containers. Florida started allowing the to go to drinks to help businesses stay afloat during the pandemic. But the idea was so popular, it's now going to be a permanent option. Governor DeSantis is expected to sign the bill soon and it will go into effect on July 1st. The FWC confirms there are red tide blooms off the coast of some local beaches. They're seeing low to medium levels of red tide off Sarasota County. It's important to note so far this is not related to the Piney Point leak. Port Manatee, where the water was released, is much further north. And experts say that water has not had time to travel to the areas where we're seeing red tide right now. The FWC says signs are being placed at some beaches to make sure everyone knows that red tide is present. And that includes Longboat Key and Siesta Beach. We have the full list impacted areas right now on our website at abcactionnews.com. And now here's Chief Meteorologist Dennis Phillips with your forecast. Dennis. How you doing, everybody? A lot of clouds out there with some scattered showers overnight into first thing on Friday morning. None of this severe, but a couple of moderate showers are always possible. Maybe even a rumble of thunder. That's in the morning, the afternoon. I think the rain ends and we're partly sunny with temperatures in the 80s. Saturday, clouds to start the day, then a pretty decent afternoon as we see mostly sunny skies and temperatures well into the 80s, if not the 90s, into our inland areas. But on Sunday, it all changes. Clouds roll in, showers later on, and I think a very good chance of some heavy rains in our forecast on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday when overall rainfall totals could easily exceed two or three inches, maybe even up to four inches by Thursday. Temperatures on Friday morning in the upper 60s to low 70s, afternoon highs inland in the mid 80s, upper 70s to low 80s along the beach with clouds earlier in the day. Saturday, we start out warm. We're very warm later on Saturday. That's the sunshine. That'll be gone though by Sunday as Florida's most accurate seven day forecast increases the rain chances big time Sunday and even higher Monday and Tuesday of next week.